Hello there, welcome back to the Ottomans. Last time, well, we uh, we didn't really do much. We rebuilt our military, we regained our manpower, we fought a pony war with Romania, Georgia, and Moldavia for, well, manpower, more or less. And we also ended up in another Regency Council, which of course is pretty damn sweet. No, it isn't. It, it really isn't, so that's terrible. On the plus side, England has lost Denmark as an ally, but gained Muscovy, which is kind of annoying. Brittany, Oldberg, probably the biggest and scariest threats here. But, Netherlands is doing gains in the Empire, which in itself is kind of scary. The New World, the French, of all people, the Netherlands, and also, of course, good old England with their English West Indies. Which, once I actually kick the arse of England, will most likely be, uh, Free, more or less. I don't think we'll do any. Yeah, we might. I was saying that we probably won't do any uh, conquest over here ourselves, but we might. That is uh, actually, that's actually something that we might consider. And the simple reason is, if we do any conquest in the New World, they will appear as a colonial nation. But we can use that to our advantage. We'll get some extra income. We won't have to do uh, use too much cash over there. All that. So almost, it's not too bad of a choice. But we'll have to consider if we actually will put in the effort into that, and I might, just because an Ottoman, Ottoman uh, over there, more or less, would look hilarious. So, let's just get rid of this Regency Council, and then we will fight uh, Aragorn, and uh, and of course England. As far as I know, when it comes to personalities, as I know, militaries would basically buy anything, as far as I know, or most stuff, minister, diplomatics, won't really buy anything at all. As far as I know, they might actually want these things, as long as they are still Irish, I would guess so. But I have no idea, so we'll try and take these three, uh, or at least just one, for the time being, and hand these things back to Scotland, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. So, I'll just get done with the Regents Council, and once it's all over with, I'll get back to you. Also press the annoying people with force here, and I guess I could build another 10,000 men army, or... Yeah, we'll build a 12,000 men army to have back here at home. I won't invest in Drupal Tech 11 just yet. Uh, things will be quite expensive down the line. And yes, as I said, I'll build a 12,000 men army to have here in, uh, at home to fight rebels. So we'll just get that done. But once again, I'll try to get uh, rid of any... Uh, try to get rid of... I'll try to outlast... Hello there, welcome back to the Ottomans. Ooh. Yeah, welcome back to the Ottomans. No, sorry. The game crashed, that's what happened, and since it's, well, I am in, it didn't actually revert back to where it was. So, we'll continue from where I was, I can't actually remember, I ended up leaving the computer, but we, uh, we'll just try and get rid of the Regents Council, I think, and I do apologize for this, uh, well, me just talking nonsense again. But, yeah, I'm building an army to deal with the rebels, and we'll try to make, uh, make the Regents Council go away fast, we'll see how it goes. There we go, we finally have a new Sultan here, and with that we'll just start straight off with a holy war on these annoying people. Brittany, Oldberg, Aragorn, Muscovy. The hilarious fact right now is that Aragorn is already at war, with Venice, Knights, Austria and Savoy. And the English West Indies, which of course are no concern to us. The problem right now is that I have no idea where I can actually find the English army and that is of course a horrible thing to, well, have to consider in this case because it's actually fairly big, or at least it was, it, or used to be depending how you want to look at it. The English are currently in war with a lot of people, as you can see here, Venice, the Nice, Autry, Savoy, Ottomans, Munster, Scotland, Bergen, again, basically us, and Ceylon. So basically over in India doing something, which I do not like, Vinagya, looking pretty neat here, Nepal. Thriving, Bastar, having a little bit here and there, but not really much. Ming, basically how they began. Japan, Korea, Aitutha, and Aza, apparently the biggest ones of them that. So, it's actually a pretty stable area when I think so. Lanchang might actually end up eating Diviet and Khmer here, making the map look a little bit prettier. But yeah, I have no problems here if uh, Orissa ate this. Then we have Vinagya take that. And that, and this here, that there, this, and Nepal that. That would actually make that map a lot prettier. But what am I talking about? So, 
We'll fight England. They don't really have that many troops, as you could see, so I simply have to find them. And that's a bigger problem here, the finding part. Make a general out of a ruler. He's not that great, really. He does have some diplomatic skill, but diplomacy power... Well, I do have en enough of it for the moment. So, I'll be sacrificing a little bit of manpower here to just try and find... There we have it, one English army ready for killing, more or less. That is the goal here, get rid of that army. And that was a little bit more than anticipated. So, I'll send these guys down to help. We'll block them in Cornwall for the time being. And until I can actually get them under control there. Let's see here. We do have a stronger army, as you know. So it shouldn't actually be too much of a problem to uh, to challenge it. We'll allow them to hit, I think. 22nd. Yeah, as you can see, we already have morale. It's two points of morale more. We do also... Well, they do have a credible discipline, though. So that is kind of annoying. That is kind of scary, but we do have a backup army that is currently kicking their asses. We still lost quite a ton of men. So, where are you going to Shadow Retreat to? I don't care, I'll hunt you down. And when that English army is hunt down, hunted down, we are basically safe here. Muscovy join in, Olmbo join in. I go on Brittany. So, why don't I make these guys make themselves useful by, well, starting sieges? So, I'll show you most likely the battles. We will probably not mess with anyone else. Uh, in this case, at least, we'll probably still cause some trouble for... If we can avoid it, we will not find Muscovy. Let's just leave it at that. If I can make sure that they stay away from me, then... Then I won't do anything against them. And that is basically, I think, a good idea. Take another military idea here. I think we'll go for... National Conscripts. Get an extra ma <laughs> that extra manpower. So it won't really matter if... A lot of my men dies, plus 25% national manpower, and also manpower recovery speed plus 20% due to the fact that we now have completed the Ottoman traditions. Shit cost, minus 10%, won't really matter that much, but now we can have... I gain 2,500 men a month. That is a extreme amount. So, where will you English fools run to? Probably up to Highlands, if I'm not completely mistaken. So, uh, let's just continue this war, and we'll see how it turns out. We have, uh, well, that was not what I was planning to do. Where is my biggest army? There's that fat army. As you can see, we have caught the English up here. No morale. They should shatter because of the fact that they don't, don't have any morale, and boom. English army completely wiped out. And with that, I think we have won the war. I will still keep quite a bit of a force as more or less a cleanup crew. And their sole purpose will be running around killing these smaller armies before they get big enough to cause a, uh, well, problem, more or less. So, here's the cleanup crew. Let's just use that to start hunting down the annoying armies. And as you can see here, it will reinforce quite substantially down the line, so that's pretty damn good. Let's see, what do we want? National rebuild risk, national tax modify, we'll take the tax guy for now. And I think we can invest, but for now we'll just, we'll just wait a little bit longer. There is a pretty big army here, and apparently I still have a mercenary regiment somewhere, or a 20k mercenary army, so that I need to uh, I need to fix that. But for now, it's it's fine. So, let's just keep on the war, hunt down the English, and see how it turns out. The Battle of Toulouse, here, as you can see, basically a wipe didn't uh, didn't turn out being a problem at all. It's kind of regrettable that we can't get military access from. Uh, well, these two. If I peace out with these guys, then I might also might be able to. And we get a military ass as I can. Hopefully, get Normandy here. But once again, kind of uh, questionable. We'll go ahead here and get rid of that. These eight thousand mercenaries. They don't really serve any purpose anymore. I might have to remodel a couple of armies due to this, but or we'll rebuild the army to some extent. But that should be fine. I think we'll actually upgrade the hunting army to thirteen thousand men, and we'll keep on. Try could, could rid, to get rid of these uh, English, well, and more annoyances than anything else. But I think that is basically everything they had, so it should be fine now, hopefully, to just go ahead and start with a little bit more, well, sieging, I guess I should say. Let's see if we can, or if I'm right or wrong. It seems like I'm right. At least I hope I'm right. We did win the Battle of Gokestshire, and yeah, we are basically, I think, home free here. 
I think I might have to consider still using a another army to keep or to yeah, we'll still do that, I think. Yeah, we'll use this thing. Yeah, I call it this thing. It's the Scottish army, basically, and we'll use that to get rid of everything now. Once and for all. And then we'll simply siege, destroy the armies once they grow a little bit big. But as I said, we should be fine. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, the war itself is going pretty damn sweet. We have entirety of England under siege. Uh, Savoy is taking Normandy. Kind of sucks. But yeah, we have complete control of England. We basically haven't lost too many map, too many, too much manpower. We do have a limit now of 81,000, which is great. It also means that I can now feel 164,000, which is a, actually the same as before. So that's not, that's not interesting at all. But yeah, we do have pretty good control. The Aragon is under siege. Sieges are completing in England. Um, nothing is actually going to be a problem right now, I think. Uh, the only thing will be just, well, sending the armies back together once everything is done. But on that, I don't think I have anything to worry about. Uh, the only thing... Wow. Wow, that is... Murad, 464. That is great. That is... That's the best. I couldn't ask for better air. Of course, a 666 would be much better. But I won't complain. That is pretty damn good. So what will we be asking of these guys? I think I'll go for simply taking Barcelona and releasing Castile. No. I'll counter then. Possibly. Depending on how much I actually can get from the sieges. Probably not that much, but I can always try. So. I'll continue bothering England and I'll continue bothering uh, Agon. I could potentially also start trying to get Muscovy out of there. So I haven't actually seen anything to them. So that is, of course, positive. And hopefully then I can just piece them out by, well, peaceful means down the line. But I think we are ready. No, we're not. I was thinking of building a navy of my own, but we're still far behind, so I think we'll just put that plan on ice for a while. We'll finish the war with England, and then we'll most likely fight France. That seems to be the plan here. Most likely. We'll see how it goes. We'll also go ahead and take a uh, next level diplomatic tech. We do have a fair amount of it, and with the current air, we'll also get a fair amount down the line as well. So we'll take cannon and shipyard level 11, mass colonial range increased by 100, canal block shipyard, and a cannon. Max colonial range is 100. No, it's improved by 100. So, I was right. But yeah, as you can see, England is basically doomed. We have taken, well, everything we want. All remains is to wait for southeastern parts to fall, and then we are done. Small England, English army here. Actually, from the new world of all places, or India, depending on where it actually came from. I don't really know. So, uh,. But yeah, we have definitely won this. We'll still keep on winning. As you can see, basically slaughter here. London fell. The capital is ours. And with that, I believe the uh, the war is over. I'll just keep going for a little while longer and see how much I can actually get from this war. Probably a whole lot more. And there Valencia fell as well. So what I think I'll do here is just make sure that I completely decimate Aragon. Or Aragon. For... Uh, Hopefully getting Barcelona, and by killing that army I should probably be able to do so. Do just that. I want Barcelona. Are you willing to comply? 33 diplomatic power, 52% overextension. I do hope they want it, because if not then I might actually be really screwed. So, before I make that deal with Aragon, I will be waiting for uh, the other sieges here to finish. And once they have, we'll, I'll do that. I do need a good deal here. With the English as well, Ayrshire, Cumbria, uh, Luthien, Yorkshire even. Yeah, I can get this as a deal, most likely. Even when I piece out with the Argon, or oh, do I want to do that? With Scotland that big, I might as well just annex them, I think. We'll have to see. But, yeah. We'll see it's these three uh, provinces just to be on the safe side. Once that's done, I'll make peace. We'll see how it goes. There we go, Siege of North Folk here mo basically marks the end of the war. And with that, we'll be making peace with Agon at first. We'll be taking just Barcelona, it seems like. Don't really, there aren't really that much else I can take. I could have them give up their deals with France, but as you can see, I thought I could, but I can't. So we'll just make them, uh, make them hand over Barcelona. Which in its own right is actually pretty damn expensive, 63%. And of course, no, not 63, 62. Which works. So, 
send them on, get Barcelona, boom. Secondly, make peace with England, and I think we'll just go for this deal. We won't be getting anything much better, and yeah, we won't be getting anything much better, and hopefully I can sell any lane stay. If not, I'll simply call it myself. And I could also then increase the Scotland if I so desire. So, it's a pretty good deal. Won't be getting too much uh, aggressive expansion on either of these deals, as you can see, so it's perfect. So there we go. England accepted a generous peace offer. England will cede Leinster to Ottomans, Eshire, while Scotland is basically back to... As I made it once in a, once, uh, in a time. This has actually a militarist regency council, so potentially we could use that to our advantage. I can convert Leinster, but I can't actually convert Barcelona. Surprisingly enough. I do have 6%, so I'm missing 2.5% to actually convert that. That is terrible. Let's go for another level of... No, no, let's not do that. Let's see here. First of all, again, I have an incredible important question to ask you guys, and that is, do you want Barcelona? They want Barcelona. I am happy with that. I am incredibly happy with that. Now, Minster, I do have an equally important question for you guys. Do you want this? No. No strategic interest. It's the same culture, it's the same religion, and I, as their overlord, is actually a Muslim. So no, of course they would have no interest whatsoever in a Irish call. Never. But yeah, I'll just call it myself then. Not really much else I can do. Except fabric a claim, of course, which I did not do. That is perfectly fine. So, what we will be doing now, I guess, is moving our troops back to... Uh, Back to the mainland and then we'll go out to Scotland. No, France. We'll see how that goes. So as you can see we have amassed our forces at the border. This is 140,000 troops. No, 120. 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, 120. 120,000 troops on the borders of uh, France. How many troops have France in uh, well, answer to that? They have 70,000 and 70,000 manpower and also, hilariously enough, along with Tuscany, Milan, Württemberg, Oldenburg, and Provence. So, what I think we'll do here is actually create two 20,000 men armies in the region, fight another pony war before we do anything else. Might actually end up attacking uh, the, well, Popacy. Papacy here. Naples is also, of course, a target. Bavaria, Austria, Milan, and Savoy. All targets that I kind of want to fight. Bavaria will probably drag in all of their allies in this case. Poland, Alsace, Salzburg, Naples. They don't really have any scary allies, which is kind of interesting to note. That is true, they don't really have any interesting allies. But as for now, we might consider doing a little bit of reinforcement before we fight France, or simply push or put this army out of harm's way, which I think is what we'll do. Taking France shouldn't actually take that long. We do have potentially here a... Yeah, they're just having their independence, so I can get military action from Averne. Have two armies stationed here. They'll actually be pretty damn uh, important. I can then siege everything here safely. Everything safely without having to worry too much. There will of course be the... Basically it's these five provinces that I can then siege safely. But it should be fine even so. We also can now study university. And I think we'll just do that. Or we still can. Allows another group of ideas. Which is uh, perfectly fine. What group is a big question here. We can't actually convert Barcelona due to the, its uh, cost. Taking trade could increase uh, increase our income a little bit. Taking espionage, no innovative. Probably a good idea right now, I think. Of the war exhaustion, leaves without upkeep, advice of costs. Everything else, it doesn't really help that much. We do have a pretty damn strong economy, so that's not really a problem right now. This could be good with, uh, with the new... Well, settings where I might have to call a lot of myself. So taking the administrative ideas might actually turn out to be not a, well, horrible line. It's not that great either. It's basically here. That is all up to cooperation. That's what I want. But that production efficiency is kind of a nice boost. But I guess we'll consider that a little bit more or closer next time. Because for now, we'll just prepare for a simple war here against the, uh, well, Frenchies. Hopefully we'll win that. And I think we we'll probably will. Milan and Tuscany could potentially be a little bit annoying, but that's about it. So, we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.